Thunder going through their pregame routine. We are just about Hello everyone, it's me, Jay Dynamite, here with another video of NBA 2K16 PS3, my career, Jose Gallo. Stephen Curry got injured in game number 4 of the Western Conference first round. But even it, when that happened, the Warriors somehow won 121-94. Now, the question, can the Warriors win a championship without Stephen Curry? Let's look at the Warriors from a certain perspective. They're not a bad team, even without Steph Curry. They got Klay Thompson, who's one of the deadliest shooters in the league. You also have Draymond Green who is extremely tough during the game. You got Andre Iguodala, who is a difference maker on that Warriors team. Sure, he's not that 76ers kind of Andre Iguodala, but he can surely make the difference and, and he can surely make a team play on a different kind of pace once he is on the floor. And you also have a deep, deep bench that has a lot of depth in it. This team is a fantastic team, even without Steph Curry. But here's the sad part. The Spurs are also one of those teams that are looking to win in this conference. So if the Warriors don't get to face the Spurs this, this uh, next round, it's going to be the round after that. So, that, I, I don't know. It sinks. I'm not, look, I'm not looking that good for the Warriors right now. Because Stephen Curry missed out on the last one to two games so far in the series. They won, uh, you know, they lost the last game. They won the one before that. But still, it's not looking good. Sure, they might win. Sure, sure they're going to win this round. And they are sure they could win next round, the one after that. But if they face the Spurs, that's going to be a huge question mark for the Golden State Warriors. Can they surely pull off winning even without Stephen Curry? I don't know. A lot of question marks, honestly, for the honestly, for the Golden State Warriors. If I were the Warriors, if I were Steve Kerr, I would tell Clay Thompson, I will give you the keys to the team. Only until Stephen Curry comes back. And also tell him, uh, sorry, uh, also tell Draymond Green, go ahead and do your thing. Because we will need whatever you can give us so far. You all know, uh, you all know that the Spurs won. They're going to the next round. But the question mark is. When will the Warriors get to face the Spurs? If the Warriors get to go to the next round. Now no doubt in my mind. The, the Warriors are going to win next round. But. Who knows. A lot of things could happen here in the NBA. It, the Spurs are a factor. Uh, the the Cavaliers are a factor. A lot of teams are factors. So you know, I, I'm I'm just I I don't know what's gonna happen. 
I, I, I'm just saying what could happen. But honestly, you know, the, the Warriors do look like a great team even without Stephen Curry. But this is no longer the regular season. It is the playoffs. Surely they're going to go on to a second round even without Stephen Curry. But after that, honestly, who knows what's going to happen after that. Like I said, the, the Spurs are a big factor with Tim Duncan, Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker, Kawhi Leonard, LaMarcus Aldridge, and the deep bench they have. So it, it's, it's looking tough. And most likely, they will go in the next round to face the Los Angeles Clippers. One of the... Well, one of Golden State's most hated rivals. You know, the, the Warriors hate the Clippers as much as they as, as much as, as much as the Clippers hate the Warriors. So they will need Stephen Curry to go on ahead and play. So what I will tell you it's that it's best if they rest, if the Warriors arrest Stephen Curry in, in, for game five. So they can, so he has enough energy to go and play against the Clippers. So he, he, so he's not banged up. So that, that's how it looks like in the situation of the Golden State Warriors. Now going to other teams, the Spurs swept the, the Grizzlies. The Thunder are looking in, uh, looking at the, uh, looking great, three to one in the series. The Clippers are two to one. And the Eastern Conference, the Cavaliers, so far three to nothing against the Pistons. The Hawks so far 2-1 to one in the series. The Heat leading the Charlotte Hornets 2-1. to one. And remember, uh, two years ago, the Heat actually swept the, the back then Bobcats that are right now the Hornets. Am I, did I say that right? Uh, what, were two years ago the Hornets, the Bobcats, right? Well, okay, okay. Right now the 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 Hornets are you know have one win in the series but you know it's not looking good for them. Now the uh, the Raptors and the Pacers are tied at two in the series. So the only team that 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 has already a spot guaranteed are the Spurs. That they have already got to a second round. The other, the other teams are still uncertain for the time being. And that's how the playoff picture is looking like. Now how much time left in the video? Not much time left in the video. So let's just talk about the gameplay just a little bit. Once again in the first half I was on fire. Unfortunately in the second half I just stunk. It happens every single time. First half, I'm on fire, shooting 10 for 11, 10 for 12, 10 for 13. And then when the second half comes, I'm just cold. I'm just downright cold, man. Downright cold. And please do not leave this video. Because you have to see the press conference. And see what Jose Gado will say in the press conference. You have to stay tuned for what... He's going to say. So yeah, the playoffs are looking intense right now. So yeah. The Warriors really need Stephen Curry for this. For the next round. If they're going to face the Clippers. So yeah. Uh, so see you guys next time in another video. Peace. down 2 nothing after tonight's loss. Does it feel like the pressure's on you guys now to win the next two and even things up? A little bit, man.
I'll be honest, it makes things that much tougher going down 2-0 and knowing you have to win the next couple games at home to have a realistic shot at staying alive in the series. But don't count us out yet. If anyone can keep this going, it's this team. And I fully expect us to come out firing in Game 3.